What is going on guys? It is your boy U-Haul here and I am back to bring you a very very popular video right now going up all over YouTube and it is the Grand Theft Auto Online Los Santos Summer Special. I have been at work all day and uh, I would have loved to play this to kind of give y'all some more content but I just got off work and I am just uploading this video right now the day of the bill man do not care what you want to do or don't want to do he will always ask you for that money for anything so uh, until until this can pay the bills I gotta keep working but we're gonna get right into this video and just give a quick rundown of everything that they released with this new DLC update and I gotta say I've already given it a pretty good read as far as going through everything and I am pretty impressed I was not expecting this much they actually are showing more cars than what the uh, original article even said so that's great news some of the missions look fun um, I did see the payout for the uh, what is it called the yacht missions and uh, I was not too impressed with that but um, hey, that's that's something minor. Um, I, I still think there's money to be made there. Just nothing worth really grinding all day for. But I will definitely be giving those a go, if not later tonight, definitely further on in this week. Let's just get right into it because I know y'all are just as excited as I am. Los Santos Summer Special GTA Online. Los Santos, the city that has it all gets an extra dose of summer fun in the latest update to GTA Online, bringing with it a host of new activities. Magnes, shoot I butchered that name, just forget about that, gearheads and everyone in between. 15 new vehicles, they originally said there was going to be a dozen new vehicles, so they're giving us 15 here. Um, I'm, I'm a little surprised with that and I've literally already seen these things and they look bad boys and girls I will say that I'm I definitely have my eye on a few of these already every day in Los Santos summer is a perfect day to show off your newest ride a seasonal shipment brings 15 new vehicles to GTA online including two new open wheel cars the gas guzzling Dundrary Landstalker XL the futuristic Lampadati Tygon, shoot, butchered that one too, just forget about it. Supercar from Legendary Motorsport. Newly available upgrades at Benny's Original Motorworks and more. Which I'm actually really excited about that Benny's Original Motorworks and more. Just because I'm a little, like, I'm getting tired of the stuff that's on Benny's right now. Like, there needs to be more stuff added to it. Because that that is definitely one of the things I like or am most interested in is what they Put it pretty much put out for Benny's because I, I see a lot of potential there as far as that workshop. But uh, let's just see some of these cars, man. That was the one mentioned earlier that Lampadati, the Inve Invetero Conquit D10. Dude, that, that, that is an insane Corvette right there. I'm pretty sure that's got to be made after that one, if not a different car. But I mean, that is insane i love that color scheme that white racing stripe down the middle uh as we scroll down here the the class dr1 beautiful car i'm sure that thing is fast a lot of people are probably going to be racing in that vapid peyote custom i will be buying this one just from the style i can already tell that this is going to be a crazy upgrade for Benny's. Um, I think the stuff you're going to be able to do with this is going to make it look really, really nice. And here we have the additional new vehicles. Um, the Imponte Beater Dukes, Albany, Manana, Manana Custom, forgive my language, Bravado, Gauntlet Classic Custom, um, the D-Class, Yasmite, Rancher, geez, they need to fix some of these names. They're almost unpronounceable. Canis, Seminole, Frontier, Bravada, Yuga, Classic, 4x4, Dundrary, Landstalker, XL. We already mentioned that one earlier. Ben Benny Factor, Glendale Custom, BF Club, Mayabatsu, 
Penumbra FF, if if that's anything, that's got to be a freaking Formula One car. Benny Factor BR8. In addition to the new vehicles, mod shops around town will be adding 15 new types of off-road wheels, 30 new sets of street wheels, and new tire designs to their selections. So, I mean, geez, man, this is already a ton of stuff they are adding to this game. Uh, a ton of new off-road wheels. Uh, 30 new street wheels, uh, new tire designs. I, I, I can't wait to get on and uh, actually finish this video so I can test it out myself. This is actually what I was most interested in right here. A super yacht life. I was very curious as to what they would add to this. Just because I don't think there's a reason for too many players to get the yacht. So I was kind of curious if, if it would be worth getting now. Um, I will probably end up purchasing the yacht, but um, definitely in the in the near future, not not anytime soon, but uh, definitely in the future, just because I I want to get my hands on it, man. I, I I love the look of these things, but uh, six new co-op missions. Captain Brendan Darcy invites you to get a glimpse of life in the captain's chair. Galaxy super yacht owners can host six new co-op missions, ready to launch from the bridge of their vessel or by simply calling the captain from their iFruit phone. Play solo or invite an organization for backup as you embark on Nautical Vengeance. As an added bonus, get double rewards on these new maritime adventures through August 19th. Host and complete all six missions to instantly unlock a unique seafaring outfit. So I will probably be completing these. I know my buddy has a yacht so we will definitely be doing these in the very near future I might even make a video on it but um here are some of the open wheel races nine new open wheel race tracks today's update debuts two new open wheel race cars and a new open wheel race series with nine fresh tracks to leave your skid marks on from racing across land to dodging turbines in Ron Alternate's wind farm. There are also a few improvements to open wheel racing gameplay, including the ability to change tire type when pitting and new visible tire wear and body damage indicators. In addition, players who find themselves driving the wrong way around a course or sitting stationary on the track for too long will be ghosted to other drivers, plus get double rewards on all Rockstar created open wheel races this week. I will say this is a great added feature right here, just going the wrong way or sitting stationary to mess up people that are actually trying to race how the game should be played is by far one of the worst things, so I'm so glad they fixed this and they pretty much make it to where you don't have to worry about those griefers anymore. Open Wheel Race Creator. Equipped with a bevy of tools at their dispo disposal in the new Open Wheel Race Creator, adrenaline junkies will now be able to design and craft their own high-octane experiences with custom tracks. The Open Wheel Race Creator delivers over 60 new props, including racetrack, archways, pit stops, paddocks, and more. Just keep an eye out for bits of twisted chassis and flying loose wheels. Some hairpins might be a little too tight. Man, dude, I am so excited to hop on GTA right now. All new business battles. This is one thing I, I know the community didn't really ask for, but um, I, I still am kind of curious as to what they, they added to this. When the notification for new business battles arrives while you're sipping a chilled blue teared from the roof of a diamond casino, I have no clue what that is, and resort, drop everything and kick into action. These revamped competitions are taking place at new locations across the map and carrying massively increased rewards. Okay, so that's a good thing. It might give a re reason for people to actually play these. Crake out to sea and stage a cooperative assault on an idling aircraft carrier before du duking it out for the goods or fight and hack your way through one of the several factories to reach the nucleus and earn a hefty payday. Bring your squad to maximize your return on investment. 
and now through August 19th, winning a business battle will earn you the pink dot tech mask on top of all the other rewards. So that must be the pink dot tech mask right there, which that actually did catch my eye. I was kind of curious how you would get that. Diamond Adversary Series. Casing and robbing the joint is fun, but sometimes you need to scratch that competitive itch. Diamond Adversary Series brings eight high stakes modes to the glitzy, glamorous confines of the Diamond Casino and Resort, including tense favorites like every bullet counts in Slasher and outright competitive mayhem in Hardest Target and Resurrection. The Diamond Adversary Series is dealing double rewards this week and it can be launched via the Quick Job menu or by entering the updated Bunker Series icon near the Diamond Casino and Resort. You're given, given just more things, man. I'm, I'm telling you right now, a lot of people sounded like they were disappointed in this in this DLC. I know I have yet to play it, but I gotta say I am actually very excited. It looks like they added a lot more than I think what people were expecting or even what they released originally. Two new arcade cabinets. Uh-oh. So we do have some new games being shown here. One of them looks like it is going to be called Cubed and uh, I have no clue what it is going to be since I haven't played but if I have to guess it's probably going to be something near Tetris but um, once I try it out for myself I'll be able to know exactly what it is and it looks like the other one is Axe of Fury also becomes available a strength test designed to help you prove to your friend's ex-partner this despondent parents just how big and strong and cool you really are so I guess this is almost like one of those little hidden games at the state fair or something where you try and hit that little uh, thing at the bottom and uh, have that uh, little little dot fly up through and ding that bell at the very top but um, I'm very curious as to what that is new collectibles ambient events and more famous film executive Solomon Richards was robbed recently and he's looking for someone to help return his collection of famous movie props. Visit Solomon's office then track down all 10 props for a special reward from the man himself. So it looks like they added a ton of missions with a ton of alternate special rewards. So I am actually very curious as to unlocking all these and I think this is going to give a lot of the GTA community more things to do as well as reasons to do them and um, people were talking about or not people were talking about but I know the game wasn't stale but it was definitely getting repetitive and this should have people actually really excited to just do different things within the game already so here's the big thing this is what I was most concerned with and um, I, I will say I am pretty impressed with some of the fixes and improvements but we will have to test these out ourselves, just because they can say they fix something but sometimes it, it just doesn't it doesn't work the way it probably should even with the fixes but we'll, we'll run through a few of these I hope one of them that they did fix was some of the crates that you just cannot open or not open but you can't grab the money out of on the casino heist I know the other day I ran into a problem where we couldn't grab crate G and uh, we lost probably every bit of like hundred thousand dollars just from not being able to grab that one but um hopefully they did fix some of these players can now return personal vehicles to storage via an option within the interaction menu players can now own up to eight different properties oh that's pretty neat so you can add more properties more garages which makes sense since they added so many different cars Mashing the accelerator prior to starting a race is no longer a viable strategy to gain a speed boost. So people must have been doing a little Mario Kart action there. Instead, players can only receive a starting boost by timing their pedal press once go is shown. Or in the case of open wheel races when the countdown lights are removed. Requesting a Pegasus vehicle is more convenient than ever with many additional spawn locations being added to reduce your travel time to the closest available location. When entering the Diamond Casino and Resort, hunters will now be told how long they will need to wait before spinning the lucky wheel again. 
that's the last time you'll see a clock inside of the diamond so that's for sure <laughs> but um yeah so that's a good thing too because i've always kind of wondered when that 24 hours is up typically you just kind of got to guess you know you you open it at say five you, you you open it the next day but it it will be nice to actually see an exact time dozens of other changes have been implemented read the full details in the patch notes here all of this summer's gameplay and content updates are available in game today with bonuses awards and discounts featuring the new content to come across the summer and beyond until the next major gta online update hits later this year the next chapter in gta online story and all new take on heist so there we go that is pretty much it except for these discounts and rewards we will go over these because i know these are very important um, so it looks like 30% off yachts and yacht upgrades and modifications. So I might be, be buying the yacht a lot earlier or sooner than I was expecting. 30% off master control terminal. Well, we'll shoot. 30% off drone station. I literally just bought that thing the other day. So I'm kind of upset. I didn't wait. But oh well, that ended up being a great video, which I will try and link in the description below. 30% off all arcades and arcade upgrades and modifications jesus man i just spent so much money on the arcade and now they're 30 percent off i am so upset right now but it is what it is you live and you learn 30 percent off benny's vehicle upgrades 40 percent off large garages so it looks like i might be buying a garage in all honesty prime gaming so if anybody doesn't know you can link your prime account to your rock star and you get special rewards and I know a lot of people have done this just because it's kind of a, a way to make extra money and get better rewards or not better but you get more rewards within the game GTA online players who have connected their prime gaming accounts to social club can earn the latest weekly GTA 200,000 bonus this week please allow up to 72 hours for all GTA money bonuses to arrive in your Maze bank account. Prime Gaming subscribers also get the Vespucci Canals nightclub location for free, along with access to special discount, 70% off the Grotti X80 Proto, and 80% off the Bravada Gauntlet Hellfire. To ensure access to future benefits, make sure to visit Prime Gaming and sign up. I definitely recommend doing this if you haven't already. And that pretty much wraps it up. I will show the patch notes and I will scroll through this, but I will not be talking during. I'll probably play some background music. But um, thank y'all so much for watching. And um, if you like this video, if you want to see more content like this, please leave a comment below. And um, if you haven't already and you're feeling a little generous, any support helps. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. And I will be back next time with more content. Thank you all so much for the support and love and peace.